Hello everyone. This is the second question of exercise 13.2 of the chapter exponents and in this question we have to simplify them and express them in the exponential form. Now, first of all, in order to simplify these type of questions, we will convert them in their prime factorization. Or we, or we can say that we find the prime factors raised to the powers. So, 2 to the power 3 can be written as it is, 3 to the power 4 can be written as it is. But, 4 can be written as 2 to the power 2. Because as I told you, we will be writing them in the prime factorization form. Then 3 will be as it is. Then, we will do the prime factors of 32 and then we will write. You can solve it or I can directly write it 2 to the power 5. Now, in the numerator, these two are having the same base. So, their power will get add up. That will give us 2 to the power 5 multiplied with 3 to the power 4 upon 3 into 2 to the power 5. Now, these two are the same terms. They can be cancelled out. Now, 3 to the power 4 upon 3 to the power 1. This one will go in the numerator and its sign changes. Here it was plus, then it will be minus. So our answer will be 3 to the power 3. Or we can say that our answer will be 27. But as the question said that we have to express them in exponential form, so our answer will be 3 to the power 3. Now this one, you know that this can be written as 5 to the power 6 multiplied with 5 to the power 4, whole divided by 5 to the power 7. Same base, power gets added up, so this becomes 5 to the power 10 divided by 5 to the power 7. Now we can write this like 5 to the power 10 upon 5 to the power 7. This will go in the numerator. Its sign changes, so it will be 5 to the power 10 minus 7, or we can say that it will be 5 to the power 3. So this will be the answer. Now this can be written as I told you that we have to write it in the exponential form, but with the prime factorization form also. So we can write this like 5 to the power 2 whole to the power 4. This means the same. You see. 5 to the power 2 is 25 and whole to the power 4 and here also it was 25 whole to the power 4 divided by 5 to the power 3. Now this can be written as 5 to the power 8 4 into 2 divided by 5 to the power 3. So it will be 5 to the power 8 upon 5 to the power 3. This term will go in the numerator. It will change its sign. So it will be 5 to the power 8 minus 3 and that will be 5 to the power 5. So this is the answer. In this question, this 21 is not in its prime factorized form, so we'll convert it. So we can write this like 3 into 7 to the power 2 into 11 to the power 8 upon 3 into 7 into 11 to the power 3. Now this 3 directly gets cancelled out. Now here it is 7 to the power 2 and 7 to the power 1. Now this one will go in the numerator and it will change its sign, so it will be 7 to the power 2 minus 1. Multiply it. 11 to the power 8 and 11 to the power 3. This 3 will go in the numerator and it will change its sign, so it will be 11 to the power 8 minus 3. So our answer will be 7 into 11 to the power 5. This will be the answer. Now part 5, in the denominator, the base are same, so power gets added up. So this will be 3 to the power 7 upon 3 to the power 7. We can directly cancel this out and write 1, but it has specifically said that using the laws of exponents, so what we will do is, this 7 will go in the numerator, it will change its sign, so then that will be 3 to the power 7 minus 7, that will be 3 to the power 0, and anything, anything raised to the power 0 will give us 1. So, we use this same property, anything to the power 0 is 1 in part 6 and part 7. Anything, anything to the power 0 is 1, so 1 plus 1 plus 1, our answer will be 3. And anything to the power 0 is 1. So 1 into 1 into 1. Our answer will be 1. So I hope this video helped you out. This is how you can solve these type of questions. For any queries or doubts, you can contact us through our website. That is www.trumas.com or through our YouTube channel. You can ask us certain questions and you can give a comment below. Thank you.